Hello everybody and welcome to the new screencast series. And the new screencast series is about advanced post-processing. Uh, as I already demonstrated here, advanced post-processing in my videos is how we can use our numerical data in order to provide such amazing uh, pictures or even videos. And this is just an introduction video. I will give you some, some hints about everything and I will tell you what these screencasts are about. Okay, so we already know the advanced post-processing is actually rendering our numerical data in a more advanced, um, let's say, level. So, for example, comparing this simulation rendering, which were was done in uh, Barre view. It's not, not even, even a bit compatible to, to uh, something like this, right? Of course, it it always depends what you want to take out of your numerical results. But preparing the results in such a nice way for customers or whatever is always very very nice. And actually, I love this topic. And in the next screencast, so I'm planning to make two screencasts, this one included um, up to now, and then ongoing screencasts will um, describe further things or more advanced things in Blender. So in the next screencast, we will talk about how we can get some scene like this in Blender and which options you have to make your, your scene um let's say looking like you want to 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 have it and therefore i directly want to tell you in the introduction video that i already prepared your blender coupling scripts so you can download it for free there are two scripts inside one is for para view and the other one is for blender you can directly apply this um, because YouTube and then we have Blender and then we have uh, OpenFoam. So I'm very slow today because in my, my head there are other things. Uh, and what I wanted to point out is that here Jeffy Joseph, he directly used the scripts I provided on my web page and manipulated of course the path and these things i don't know if he, he changed also or he changed the settings in blender but he were telling me that he were just applying it and got this nice um animation so you can see you can directly apply the scripts I provide here. Of course, you have to change something. And if you are good in Python, you will directly understand uh, everything. Also, you can load this Python script in Blender, and then you will understand more how I yeah, was um, building my scene actually in Blender. Um, another point I want to tell you is that there is Mark Pittman, who has already 40,000 40, 000, uh hits here he was describing in describing in seven minutes how to use uh, blender and paraview in order to make your scene he also uses a nice camera motion so what i want to do the next time or try is like you build your scene a static scene and then you move with your camera through it so also very interesting and you can also check out his video in seven minutes so maybe i'm talking too much for you so i i recommend you to watch uh, the video from mark pitman and yeah so this was the introduction video in um 11th december 2017 i will make a presentation in the pfau it's a pfau austrian user meeting it's like uh, yeah the open foam user meeting in austria and i will talk about advanced post-processing 2 and the pdf will be published 
here too. So it's like the first rough ideas about Blender and open form coupling uh, will be here. And of course, all the training sessions will come um, or you can find them here on point eight, advanced post-processing. And then we will see how we uh, go on. So uh, thank you, everybody. Um, I hope you will enjoy the next screencast and all the best. Please don't forget to subscribe, share it and let the world know that there is some crazy guy like me dealing or preparing things, maybe not in the best way, but I will share my knowledge for free and I hope you appreciate that. So nothing else to say. Bye bye.